According to Jules Verne, Iceland marks the entry point to the center of the Earth. We've seen a really nice variety of things. We've seen waterfalls, beautiful mountains with snow capped. Uh, we've been on a whale watching trip, which was very interesting. We saw several types of whales. Experience the old world, firmly embedded within the new. In the capital city of Reykjavik, the urban heart of Iceland. Jules Verne writes, my overexcitement was beyond all description. What excitements await you? According to traditional folklore, the lava formations of Dimiborgi are all that remains of the large, ugly, and mean Icelandic trolls that lived here. When exposed to sunlight after a night of dancing, they turned to stone. And we have a picnic basket, and they were on these narrow paths, and uh, you could play around in caves and everything. Then you got lost sometimes. <laughs> oh, Hakon is great. He's very informative. He loves to tell us sagas about Iceland everywhere we go along the trip. These mountains up here with the snow in them, and lying in the direction of Aquireri, are from before the Ice Age. They are more than three million years old. And then hiking down again, zigzag. And this is formed 2,500 years ago in some very few days. Formed all the pseudo craters and all the things you have been seeing today. In the north of Iceland, not far from Krafla volcano, sits Lake Mivatn. This lake was created by a large eruption of basaltic lava. 2,300 years ago. The landscape is dominated by volcanic landforms, and the surrounding wetlands are exceptionally rich with water birds, especially ducks. Iceland, it's a geologist wonderland here. The sulfur pits were a bit more extensive than I had expected, and the blowholes that we saw were, what should I say, more dramatic than I expected. And the bubbling of the sulfur pools. Interesting to see. Iceland sits directly on top of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This heat comes from the birthing edge of two tectonic plates, one heading west to North America, the other heading east to Europe. I've never seen a bakery like this before. I'm looking for the rye bread. <laughs> so these are the ovens. Geothermal cooking. Icelandic thunder bread, steamed rye bread or rubrace. This is where they bake the bread, and each farmer has one of these. 24 hours in the steam, but it's just around boiling temperature. And in the morning, the bread is ready and absolutely wonderful, with butter and loads of cheese or something like that. The bread is very similar in consistency to Boston brown bread and it's baked by steam for 24 hours, I think he said. That's amazing. Iceland, Akuyuri, waterfalls, one big waterfall. Pretty? <laughs> Very great. Yeah, I don't fall off the cliff. and I think we're going to be really cold. <laughs> Iceland was my first whale watching trip ever. Excited, hopefully we can see something.
you. Welcome. Thank you. Very much. Yeah. This is for you. It's a token. I'm from Florida, so you'll see. On most of the tours that I've taken, there's there's often a home hosted meal, and uh, it gets you in touch with the local folks. They give you their meal, uh, which is typical Icelandic. It'll probably be lamb or fish, and uh, we also get to meet the family. How are you? Oh, it was a great family. We had um, a mother who, with a little daughter who's about nine years old, and the mother's cousin was in town visiting. So the two ladies were just very, very friendly, very knowledgeable. The lady had just gone all out with uh, lamb stew and lamb. Nice to have you all. We also were lucky, we met a hamster. One of the children here had a hamster. There is no private care? No, not really. Everybody is covered and everybody is equal. We just sat around and talked a lot of uh, education issues and some politics and some health care issues and really just had a wonderful evening with them. The dinner was delightful and then the dessert was not to be believed. It was a date pudding cake with a little caramel sauce on it and whipped cream. Now how can you go wrong with that? <laughs> so Iceland's impressive geysers, waterfalls, springs, and volcanoes are all part of what makes this land so inspiring to writers and all who visit.